this week was a week of interesting completion for many things. Let's see, what about I got jesse.church and jesse.house up and running working with jessesteel.com. Now, the, the beautiful thing about this, I don't know, it was towards the end of the year and I had profits to, to burn through because I didn't want to pay taxes. At least not, I mean, I pay taxes, but, you know. No, of course, of course I, I, I do the corporate thing, George. Of course I do. I mean, I'd be stupid not to. So, it's not about not paying taxes, George. It's about, it's about not paying taxes on the stuff you buy. I mean, if, if you want to pay taxes on the stuff you buy, we need a sales tax. But you, you just, you know, life is business for me, and, and I'm sorry that I can't, I can't afford to pay tax on the seeds that go into the ground. You, you pay tax on the food that comes out of the farm. You don't pay tax on the seeds that you buy to plant on the farm. That you know, pay tax on earnings. So you got to be corporate to do that. Okay, thank you. So. Anyhow, <clears throat> sorry for that little uh, <clears throat> diatribe there. Well, George always has the question for people in Reed Rapids that, that, who think that they know everything, but that they're the only ones who know everything and everybody else knows nothing, so it all has to be explained to them. Very, very concerned about it. No, wait, but what are you going to say to people? What people? Are they here? No, no, but what if they were? Oh, so now we have to talk as if the whole world was in the room with us. That's Reed Rapids. I know, I grew up there. So... I got jesse.house and jesse.church set up to work with jessesteel.com because my life was so weird and disjointed and it didn't make any sense what in the world I was doing. And now it all makes sense. It's all understandable. You can just go look at it and see it and it, and it works and it makes sense and it flows and it's just, wow, that's what Jesse's doing, of course. And that's my life. So jesse.house explains the projects that I have going and the plates I have spinning a lot of little tiny things that are just there, but things that I've done. And, you know, someone calls me, asks a question. Usually I've got one of those projects that was made to answer those questions. So I'll go back and tweak it and modify it and go say, go over here and get your question answered. And then I'll go do it. So I've, you know, that's where I put my software. That's where I put my uh, English teaching curriculum, whether it's for second language or it's for homeschooling. It's same curriculum. That's how I view the world very simply. I don't make... I don't make ESL and American gr English grammar. I don't make them separate. I, I just see it all as English for the beginners who want to be excellent. And, and, and again, it's, it's for people from, from kindergartners or before kindergarten. I mean, four-year-olds should start learning through college. Goodness. I, I had a kid this week. I mean, kids can be smart. Say, same thing with learning Linux. I write software for my servers and I teach people how to use Linux. And you can learn at a young age. Why not? See, when, when, see, when, when, when parents and teach adults, you know, old people, uh, Peter Pan called them pirates because all the adults were pirates in Peter Pan. When the oh, big, old, boring people say that the kids can't learn, what they really mean is that they don't know how to teach the smart young ones. That's what they're really saying. <clears throat> Just to be clear rattling blank paper as if we're moving on to some point to illustrate the marketing, which comes back to marketing. I put that stuff at jesse.house and then I put all the, the stuff I've done for the church. I write books for Christians to read. I have websites for Christians to, to benefit from. And this week, I finally finished recording my audio of the book of Enoch. Yes, that was a major accomplishment because this was like two years ago. I told the Lord, I don't have a good uh, microphone to record the book of Enoch. You give me the perfect microphone and, and reading environment and all that stuff to record the book of Enoch and I'll do it. I started, I'd record for three hours and get 30 minutes done. Didn't work. Well, here I am two years later. I'm better at everything and I have more stuff. As always, we accumulate our stuff in our barns. And I said, well, what would happen if I finished the book of Enoch? So I did it. And I finally got it done. And I, it was amazing. An hour would go by, I'd lay down 40 minutes worth of recording. And it was great, wonderful, exhausting. Four hours, five minutes, and 44 seconds, is it? I think. 
That's at jesse.church. And they all link to each other, and the jessesteel.com thing kind of links in the podcast. jesse.coffee is coming. It's coming, but it's not here. I'm just not set up for vlogging. I, vlogging, you need like a permanent video sound lighting situation. Or it's like, you know, you don't need to go to YouTube and stare at, at the YouTube monitor of something that's really not able to be seen. If, you, if we're going to do video, you need to be able to see me. Not, not see me wonderfully, but see me. I just don't have that. So, but jesse.coffee is coming. Conversation, ongoing uh, writings, and such. We'll see how it goes. I had a, uh, well, an interesting little encounter just before doing the podcast today. Oh, by the way, the Book of Revelation audio is coming. In fact, I'm planning on laying down some of that as soon as I get done with this. So stay tuned. If you go to jesse.church today, you're going to see the Book of Enoch twice. And one of the videos is a placeholder for the coming Book of Revelation. My own translation from Greek. It took me a long time to do that. I don't know, one, two years. Well, eventually it was like two verses per day. And it was 10,000 words and it was 100,000 words on why I translated the way that I did. So... Before laying down podcast stuff today, I watched a little video from Google. And apparently, whatever, support, reportedly this is leaked or whatever. And it goes on about explaining algorithms and basic deep machine learning, which is code word for AI. And AI is code word for mimicking intelligence. It's artificial. I mean, it, it's fake. It's mimicked. It's counterfeit intelligence. Not intelligence on counterfeits, but it's like a counterfeit. It's a fake. It's an imposter. It's the appearance of intelligence and sentiency. And you cannot create an intelligence. It's not, I mean, you'd have to be able to create a soul which, which exists beyond the spirit realm. Can a computer create a human spirit? You know, no. Can, can, can you decide... You know, you've got a great cadaver is all. You know, you're lightning striking Frankenstein and he becomes alive. No, it, it it's doesn't, doesn't work that way. And if you're godless, then you don't know that. Or you refuse to accept that or whatever the, you know, whatever. You haven't figured it out yet. You're not, you really don't know, whatever. As I'm watching this video... I keep seeing Google talking about all the ways they can engineer society and we can give you your choice in life. Is your goal to be environmentally safe or, you know, something else? It's like, oh, so that's my goal? That's, that's, that's it? Those are the things that people can choose. And that's how they become great and self-actualize and stuff? I mean, Google has this very simple little vision to engineer all people. And it's not just the music, but... The, the words, in, there's a background music thing. The words, the ideas that Google's expressing, supposedly in the supposed Google leaked Google video, is internal video or whatever, ex- however it was. They have this very, very low, controllable, minion view of human life. They, re- like one of the Google founders or bigwigs, had actually created a religion establishing AI as a god. They really believe the artificial intelligence in the first Star Trek movie, Star Trek the Motion Picture, is their god. And they really believe that that an AI is superior to human life. What a low view these people have. I just depressing to watch. I need to get to the point. A kid handed me a paper with a Bible verse written on it. The way he handed it to me didn't make sense. It drooped down to the floor. His hand was closer to me than the actual paper. The side of the paper facing me was blank. I honestly didn't know what he was handing me, if it was a joke or he just didn't understand presentation. He needed the talk on giving something to someone so the recipient knows what it is. Rather than ranting about marketing, I'll merely mention both marketing and precious diamonds in their rough. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com.